Hello, my name is Lauren Collender and I'm going to be talking about the XQuery templating module within the exist XML database. The templating module allows for the uh, proper separation of concerns. And by that, I mean eliminating presentation, the HTML from the XQuery. And so what that does is allows for the graphic designers to design the look and feel of the web pages and then allowing the developers to add the content through attributes within the tags. And so the here we have the div tag data dash template equals demo colon hello. And so that div is replaced with the contents of the result of the function demo hello. And all function module functions have a specific function signature, or templating module functions have a specific signature of a node containing the HTML node currently being processed. The model is an XQuery map with application data. And there's an additional signature of allowing parameters. So here uh, we have the function module function demo hello. We have the node, the map, and then we have an additional possible uh, parameter of language. And that's added to the div by data dash template dash and then the parameter name, in this case, language. And so data-template-language, in this case, it's set to EN. And all these parameters, uh, we have the parameter injection, the priority is if the parameter comes from the HTTP request, we use that. And if it's not on the request, then we look towards the HTTP session and so if it's not in the HTTP session, then we pull it from the static parameters. And those are through the annotation templates default and use uh, first uh, parameter to the, is the name of the parameter. And then you have uh, one or more values that are pat, uh, set for the default. An additional annotation is templates wrap, which preserves the enclosing tag. And so the default is, you know, if we have div data dash template equals demo colon hello, that div is replaced with the contents of the call to demo hello. Here, templates wrap, that div is preserved and the contents are returned within that div. And here are the predefined template commands of include each if param set, if param parameter unset, if model key equals, unless model key equals, template surround, form control, and load source. The templates include replaces the node with the content of the included HTML. Now it must be noted that the data template path is uh, the path is relative to the application root. And so if the app was foo, it'd be slash db slash apps slash foo. And so here's an example where we include included.html and that has a h1 uh, with the word included and you can see that on the right. Okay and so then following that we're going to do uh, two examples of the each and so this is means of looping through values. And so 
templates each uh, looks for a map entry with the key from data template from and it iterates through the sequence in that result uh, from that uh, map entry and places that into a map entry uh, from the, with the key name from data template two. So in this case, app search sets a map entry of result with the values A, B, and C, and then each sets each instance A, B, C in succession into model entry. So you can see here, we're doing a loop through and creating rows within a table. And so we have a row for A, a row for B, and a row for C. And we can just as easily, without changing the function module functions, change it to an unordered list just by changing the tags within the HTML. And then we have if parameter set and following that if parameter unset. And so if the parameter foo is set, then it replaces the node with the contents of the node. And similarly, if parameter unset replaces the node with contents of the node if the parameter is not set or is empty. So you can see here, we called and the parameter my param was not set. And so the result is the H3 parameter my param is not set. Now, if we called uh, this web page and added the parameter my param equals foo, then, we, then the contents would have parameter my param is set. And similarly, we have if model key equals and unless model key equals. And so it replaces the node with the contents of the node if the model passed in has an entry with a named key that equals the named value. And so that's for if model key equals. And then unless model key equals, if the it replaces node with the contents of the node, if the model passed in either does not have an entry with the named key, or that does not, uh, or the value of the entry of the named key does not equal the named value. And here's an example. And so you can see the div class panel body, we have data templates app set model, and we have uh, returning a map with the key foo and the value bar. And you can see the templates wrap, and so that div stays. And so then we have a div with templates if model key equals, the key is foo, the uh, test value is bar, and so we see foo is set to bar. And if we did not set foo to bar, then it would say foo is not set to bar. Now, template surround allows for adding decorative elements around existing tags. And so here you can see we have templates surround. The width is surrounding.html and the at is panel content. And so you can see in the surrounding.html we have a uh, a div and deep within it there's a div with the ID of panel content. And so the content of the 
div within the surrounding HTML, which is H3 surrounded, replaces the div with the ID panel content, and then that surrounding is replaced, replaces the div that is calling. And so you can see on the right, we have a, a bootstrap panel with the title templates surround with the with surrounding and a well and then surrounded and so I'll give you time to look over that when the data template using attribute is optional it specifies the ID of an element in the data te template with resource. Uh, the current content will be surrounded by this element. If the parameter is missing, the entire document given in data template with will be used. And then there's also the additional option of adding key value pairs and those are added into the model that is uh, being pat, uh, the surround, surrounded uh, value gets passed. And then form control, uh, use of an input and select elements, checks the HTTP request for a parameter matching the name of the form control and fills it in into the value of an input or selects the corresponding option of a select. And you can see that here. You can see on the URL we pass in the parameter form dash name and give the value foo. And so then in we have the form, input type text, data template, templates form control, name, form name, and so foo is placed within that uh, that input. If we did not set have form dash name set, then it would be an empty input. Okay, and here's an, one where uh, we normally use with an anchor element, and it opens the documents referenced in the href attribute into Excite. And so you can show off uh, demonstration code, things like that. Now to add your own function module, you have to have it declared in the, and imported into the view.xql, which is in the modules collection within the app. And so if you do not do that, then you are going to have errors when you try to uh, make use of the function modules within or the functions within that function module. And there's also within the view.xql uh, the let config uh, sets map and those values get passed into all the all of the following function modules as the templating process happens. In particular one, config debug is relatively new and the default is not being set. And if that's the case, then all the data-template attributes are filtered out in the results. And so when you're developing, it's good to set the config, dash, uh, config underscore debug to true and so that you can see the results of your processing and still see the data dash template tags. And that is the content of this talk. And I appreciate your uh, listening and I would appreciate uh, hearing any feedback. And so this uh, was run on Exist 2.2 Release Candidate 2. Thank you 
and goodbye.